So, um, good afternoon from Cleveland. Um, I have, uh, I want to thank the organizers, uh, the International IVF Initiative, uh, which is uh, the driving force behind organizing these uh, fantastic uh, uh, webinars uh, of the highest quality over the last uh, uh, four weeks. Uh, and this is the brainchild of uh, a very select group of uh, ARTNs uh, and uh, I want to personally thank each and every one of them uh, for doing such a fantastic job. I think uh, as you see the quality of these programs over the last uh, several weeks have been just uh, uh, just amazing and uh, there is so much knowledge and new information that has been brought uh, to all of you. So thank you very much uh, to the entire team headed by Jacques and, uh, and Peter and uh, so many, especially Thomas. Um, I also want to thank uh, the moderators, um, uh, both Jacques, uh, Marlene is, could not be here and I am sorry for her loss, uh, and also um, Danny. And uh, um, so today I will be uh, talking about uh, the artificial intelligence driven innovations in automated semen analysis, building a better mousetrap. So semen analysis is uh, the most important test, which is uh, the test that is uh, ordered for every single infertile couple, which needs uh, to be examined. And this is the most fundamental test. Uh, it has been uh, used uh, for every single couple who is going on for infertility workup. And uh, for a long time, uh, since the discovery of uh, the microscope in 1600s by Leuven Hook uh, about more than 300 years ago. Um, there has been very little development in terms of uh, changes in a routine semen analysis. So there have been uh, many attempts to standardize the method of semen analysis, which uh, was uh, actually uh, standardized using the WHO uh, guidelines from 1980 about 40 years ago and since then five different editions of guidelines have been published um, and the latest is the fifth edition which is the 2010 uh, guideline and uh, it provides uh, the laboratory's uh, standardized protocol and methods uh, in order to perform uh, semen analysis in the most accurate way in their own laboratories. However, uh, a routine semen analysis is very subjective and it is very difficult to standardize even uh, under the best circumstances. And uh, according to the CLIA in the United States, uh, this is characterized as a high complexity test. And what it means is that it uh, really requires uh, um, a lot of uh, um, training. It requires qualified uh, personnel it requires quality control, quality assurance, proficiency testing, and uh, a whole gamut of uh, uh, training to perform this test correctly into the laboratory. So despite that, um, can we change? Next slide, please. Um, despite all that, semen analysis is still highly vulnerable to lab errors and human errors. And uh, there is uh, an inbuilt problem within our male reproductive system uh, because we are uh, uh, producing sperm which are highly variable in terms of the production. Uh, there are uh, the, the sperm sample can be normal anywhere from 15 million to 200 million. There is a huge amount of variability. There is a huge amount of variability because of the instrumentation that are being used to measure semen uh, parameters and that uh, there is a, um, a still a lack of uh, consistent observance of uh, standardized protocol in laboratories engaged in conducting the semen analysis. There is a lot of controversy regarding the guidelines which develop the cutoff values for semen parameters by WHO. Still there is uh, um, a lot of controversy and criticism about those 
cutoff values or the reference values to identify abnormal semen samples. And uh, despite following the best practices, it does not eliminate variability that can result from technician subjectivity and human error. And the errors can cause misdiagnosis or delayed infertility treatment. Next. Next. And uh, the way that this, this happens is because the manual semen analysis has so many steps. We have to do the check for liquefaction, we have to check for color, the pH, the volume, um, and then load the sample on a counting chamber, place the counting chamber on microscope, do the count, motility, and then clean the counting chamber. So there are, next, there are so many steps uh, that are involved in conducting the semen analysis that uh, they are bound to be mistakes. Next slide. But that is uh, um, not uh, uh, over because uh, semen analysis also includes sperm morphology. And even by the fastest technique called DIFQUIC, there are still 12 steps that are, uh, that are involved in conducting a complete morphological evaluation. Uh, and that can take about 30 to 60 minutes for uh, preparing the smear, uh, staining it, and drying it, and then evaluating and scoring the slides. Next slide. So if you take into account all of these uh, issues, uh, next slide, you will see that uh, um, there are so many steps. And since there are so many steps, the chances of mistakes are also very high in conducting manual semen analysis in a clinical laboratory. Next slide. Because of these reasons, over the last 40 years, the development of computer-assisted semen analysis uh, started. And there have been a large number of uh, these systems which have been developed and are available in the market. Um, what you see on the screen are three main companies, and there are so many more which uh, are not here. Uh, Microptic, Hamilton, and uh, MES. And I chose these because these three systems are being used in our laboratory at Cleveland Clinic. We have uh, several of these, almost half a dozen of these system, so I am displaying it uh, to show that there are so many of these systems. And the systems are actually semi-automated. They track the spermatozoa, focusing uh, through the microscope to capture successive images of a sperm within a static field. These systems use uh, a special software to extract desired information and produce desired output. And uh, the issue is that uh, the information generated by these systems uh, is overwhelming. Next slide. They provide a large amount of information. In addition to the traditional semen parameters, they also measure a variety of motion kinetics, such as velocity, linearity, amplitude of lateral head movement and breed cross frequency. So there are tons of things uh, that the data is generated. Um, essentially, the advantages of it is uh, that uh, this is these type of systems are very useful in busy andrology or IVF labs, where there is a high turnover of technologists. Uh, there is a large amount of uh, samples uh, that are coming in. It reduces the inter and intra operator variation and provide some object objectivity. But the downside is that uh, the large amount of data that it generates, most of the data, almost 50-60% uh, of the data which is really useful to uh, a program is has no clinical meaning. So uh, most of the motion kinetic parameter have no clinical value because the reference values for those parameters have not been established by the WHO, and we don't really fully understand the clinical value of those parameters. Next slide. Um, 
so these are the limitations uh, um, these are very large uh, instrument takes a lot of uh, footprint um, they require uh, a person to be well trained to handle so these are not automated devices these are semi automated devices which require considerable amount of training and understanding of the system in order to operate it optimally and in a correct manner um also these uh, instruments uh, generally are expensive next slide so in light of this uh, there has been a um, there has been a vacuum in the market for a technological breakthrough and uh, over the last year or two um, we have been involved in uh, testing and uh, validating a new device called lensook x1 pro and uh, this is uh, one of the smallest casa system in the market which uh, basically uses uh, artificial intelligence algorithm with auto focus optical lens in a single device uh, it is also approved by the fda recently and available in the united states as well as in many parts of the world more importantly this device is simple it takes 2 to 5 minutes to measure all the main parameters of the cement ph concentration motility and morphology um, it uh, can also measure the ph directly it can measure the concentration in very low concentration sample less than a million 0.1 million total motility progressive motility and non progressive is pumped between less than 1% to 100% and more faulty so if you look at the diagram it is really easy for uh, the device when you load the sample two drops one for ph and for, for concentration insert a cassette into the device and you get the results within few minutes there is really very little operator um, interaction or uh, or any kind of uh, specific uh, detailed training next slide so um, recently about uh, last year we conducted a small pilot to evaluate uh, this device uh, which was uh, then published in this uh, journal uh, but now today next slide um, i wanted to discuss and present some recent data that we have generated in the last 6 months uh, this is unpublished and we are preparing it for publication so here uh this is the experimental design where we had about 101 samples which were analyzed both manually and by commercial casa device hamilton thorn ivos and lensook by who fifth edition for important cement parameters uh, concentration motility and progressive motility next slide please so these are the results here we have uh, semen samples coming from oligospermic oligospermic estheno and normo from both patient and donors and if you look at the table uh, you will find that there is uh, a very high degree of correlation coefficient between the manual semen analysis and the x1 pro um, as well as uh, between the manual and hamilton thorn and in the third row you will see the results of lens hook correlating very highly with uh the current uh, uh industry leader which is hamilton thorn ivo system and on the right side you will see the correlations which are being shown uh on the right side these are the correlation uh between lens hook and manual results for concentration motility and progressive motility next slide please um these are the performance characteristics such as ppb no npv sensitivity specificity for all the semen parameters between manual semen analysis and x1 x1 pro which is the lensook semen analyzer all performance characteristics are very good for manual semen analysis versus x1 pro the ppv was 100% of the positive predictive value uh, for identifying true positive is 100% for uh, lensook and about 86% for estheno zoospermic samples which is uh, fairly good next slide so here we looked at the intra observer agreement which is important and essentially 
10 samples were analyzed by the same person for manual and X1 Pro, uh, and each sample was analyzed three times for all these similar parameters. Next slide. And these are the results. We have um, um, very high degree of uh, intra-observer agreement for concentration, total motility, and progressive motility using X1 Pro, and these are comparable to manual semen analysis. Next slide. Now, looking at the inter-observer, which is essentially between the different operators. So you will see three operators counting 10 samples of by manual and X1 Pro for all the semen parameters. Next slide. And these are the results. We have, again, very high degree of inter-observer agreement of more than 0.9% or 90% for sperm concentration, total motility, and progressive motility using X1 Pro. The results, again, for X1 uh, for Lenso are comparable to manual semen analysis, which is conducted by a trained technologist. Next slide, please. So here, um, the take home message of my uh, talk here is this new technology is uh, um, very precise. Uh, it uh, shows very good degree of agreement uh, with manual semen analysis being performed by a trained technologist. It is fast, it is simple to operate, offers reliable and reproducible results um, it uh, is very easy to perform and get all the semen parameters within the laboratory while uh, the patient is waiting, for example, and uh, meeting with the physician within a few minutes, you can conduct and provide these results uh, without uh, the patient to be called or he has to schedule to come back again. And that is one of uh, the very important uh, characteristics uh, of this uh, technology. Next slide, please. So there are some limitations uh, of the device. Uh, I believe uh, um, that morphology is one of the issue with this, uh, that the results of this device does not correlate very well with manual semen analysis. And there are some reasons for it. Um, it uh, cannot examine multiple fields the technology examine only a single field and takes multiple video, although it checks 100 grids. It does not uh, examine the acrosomal region, although it can evaluate the shape from head to tail in order to classify them as a sperm. It has machine learning. Um, it uh, uh, really, I think the results of sperm morphology, even by IVO system in our, pro, uh, in our hands, showed very poor correlation with the manual semen analysis. So uh, the company is uh, in developing a newer algorithm to examine morphology using the stain slides in their newer model. And we know that uh, morphology is the hardest thing to standardize and uh, be able to automate. I think uh, if you look at uh, the development of all the CASA system, uh, morphology has not been standardized so far. So I believe uh, that uh, this type of technology is uh, going to be a disruptor in the market. Uh, the change is uh, inevitable and uh, it is essentially the survival of the fittest. So the technology is changing faster than we can imagine. And what we see here is uh, the something that I believe personally is uh, the new CASA uh, for the future. May I have the next? Can you click on that? Anyway, um, there was a music uh, with that. So I, I guess, let me see if I can play that. Yeah. So, um, and then just the last slide. 
thank you very much and uh, i apologize for uh, the screw up in the beginning um despite uh, it shows that despite all the practices that we did um it uh, the technology can sometimes uh, um really escape you when you really need it the most but uh, uh, thank you very much and uh, thank you for your patience i really appreciate it.